welcome to the course on computer design of electrical machines. We will have a lecture 28 today on design of brushless permanent machines part 3. So, with the typically outline of today presentation, we will have a design and a scope of permanent synchronous motor, then optimal design of PM permanent synchronous motors with case study, then numericals and exercise problems and references. So, coming to design uh, of permanent synchronous motor, the permanent Synchronous motors are used in a wide range of applications. I discussed previously the main component of permanent synchronous motor are as follows the motor, power electronics model, model, or you can call it converter or controller. And along with the alongside the die, the motor itself consists of several parts for design, and there lie the scope of design of permanent synchronous motor. So the objective to achieve any permanent Motor design can be one of the following highest possible efficiency across the majority of operating range, highest high torque to weight ratio, then high power density, low inertia, and low control uh, torque ripple. Again, most of these applications are specific and have to be formulated accordingly. Uh, the main scope of the permanent synchronous motor design line, rotor design, iterator design and winding design as you can see the different parts of this typically of PM SM. So, considering the drive at is integral part of permanent synchronous motor drive, the control of PM SM is also important factor to consider the maximum maximize operating efficiency and some of these points are explained in more detail as follows. So, you can call it with the rotor design. The various topology of permanent rotors present in permanent synchronous motor are like surface mounted, the spoke type, multi barrier then inset and then in single barrier and then actually laminated. So, now there are several ways in which the designer can proceed for the improvement in rotor design with the rotor design like permanent material improvement, then rotor magnetic salience improvement and permanent shaping and flux concentrating. Now, <coughs> the permanent material improvement the four main permanent materials used in most of the industry application. And these are nodium iron boron, which is considered the top good best material today in with the alloys of this, and then ceramic cobalt, followed by that. They are rare material, both of and then aluminum nickel cobalt and nico, and then ferrite called also ceramic magnet. So, one of the primary scope of improvement in any power magnet motor is the improvement of the your magnetic material characteristic, which is the main source of field flux. Uh, now, coming to case 1, the use of nano composite magnets. Uh, in the following, the combined pole with nano composite magnets is presented to, to be used along with the rare material as it is given in the reference below. And, uh, <coughs> and this is done in order to compensate for the high D axis demagnetization along with the providing an improved vacuum of torque characteristic. So, now typically here you can just see with the habit permanent composite magnetic structure how really magnets are put into the you can call it into nano composite along with material and how the you can call it comes out with the uh, flux then the vacuum up in the conductors and then the harmonic analysis of the vacuum up like so coming with the then smart use of rare magnets so since the cost of rare magnet is higher than the other lower energy density magnets such as ferrite and palm magnet. A motor which combines the effect of both rare magnet and ferrite can be used. Of course, here the issue lies with the net palm magnet volume. However, that needs to be optimized according to the design specification and a net cost reduction can be observed. And you can see of a different type of rare uh, to optimize the cost and performance of next generation typically for Tesla motors with uh, no rear pre-design. So, you can just clearly how the magnets are put and typically into the your flux barrier. And then the technology trend changes and opportunity of rear magnets as you can see in the different with the ferrite palm magnet motors, then the typically a uh, motor how the magnets on surface, then the how the spoke type of magnet, then how the uh, in synchronous magnets magnets are put into the flux barrier typically and then housing in synchronous electric motor we are putting another configuration the magnets orientation like so it depends how we orient the magnet and characteristic accordingly we tailor it for a specific application like. 
as you can see on the right side also how it is done. So now you can say more examples of reduced rare magnet in interior power magnet. I mean you can just see how we reduce, really reduce the typically the magnet volume and magnet size by putting the magnets only into the typically in your not only full uh, you can call it the flux barrier but only in the part of flux barriers with the typical geometry is increasing the width of the magnets and accordingly deciding the depth of the magnet like. So now coming to typically rotor magnetic saliency improvement this also play a very important role. So in palm magnet uh, synchronous motors the saliency is also important factor in sensorless control and field weakening control especially field weakening is required for electric vehicle applications and higher the saliency that is LQ upon LD here is higher the reluctance torque produced due to the following equation as here. So T equal to 3 into P by 2 in bracket phi m into I Q that is the torque produced by magnet and the torque due to saliency is L D minus L Q into I D into I Q. So here since I, I, L Q is more than L D so it means this term will give minus and you have to certainly for field weakening you have to introduce I D that positive I D that will really decrease the net flux I mean reduction by the saliency or you can put a minus I D to increase the flux during starting at the time of starting. So you can certainly do the I mean do of the torque produced by the saliency it can be magnetizing you can increase the torque of course at low speed and high speed you can reduce so that you can get the constant power characteristics to match with the electric vehicle or such kind of application over a wide speed range. So you get higher torque at starting then in place of keeping ID 0 and you can get a much lower torque with the field weakening at high speed by introducing the positive ID which reduces the net effect flux into the air gap less than magnet flux like. So you can clearly see here how the rotor magnet saliency improvement in different configuration and Q and D and Q and D axis armature reaction flux of surface mounted magnet or interior power magnet. Uh, typically here D axis and Q axis are major action of flux and then the D axis are major action of the typically coming out in this different kind of configuration of this PMS and you can see how the rotor saliency is there and magnets are put into the typically in such motors which really give the uh, really a field weakening features in, for many many applications as a good fit. So some of the advantage of palm magnet pole shaping are as follows. The reduced noise and vibration. So, pole shaping can reduce the machine noise and vibration level, which help to ensure a smooth operation and higher quality motor control performance and improved control accuracy. When the air gap magnetic flux waveform is closed to the sensor waveform, the PMSM coging torque and the torque triple can be effectively reduced and the control accuracy of the PMSM can be improved. So, some of the advantage of this palm magnet shaping are as follows improved torque, different palm magnet. Topologies can be can improve the torque performance of this and improve rotor structure. The rotor structure with palm magnet placed inside the rotor core is more firm and resistance to demagnetization. And you can just see how the initial and optimized volume of palm magnet with the pole shaping. I mean how the design of pole shaping is changed typically and how it becomes more effective. And you can just see the really the effect of this change, how it is really the your industry MF perform. I mean improved with the optimized model I mean closer to the sensor and you have a even the harmonics also less with this optimized as you can see on this on the right side like but of course at little cost of reduction of fundamental like. So coming to state design there are several ways in which the designer can proceed for the improvement in state design typically stator material improvement and stator shape improvement. So coming to stator material improvement. I mean conventional electrical steel <coughs> usually 2 to 3 percent silicon and 0.35 to 0.5 millimeter thickness cold rolled and non oriented steel is huge for the motor steels. However, newer material like SMC soft magnetic composites are explored for high efficiency palm magnet machines and they are having the following advantage like lower cost SMC are designed for mass production at lower cost using a powder metallurgy process and soft magnetic composite innovation and isotropic electromagnetic and thermal property. So motor cores made with of SMC has a high have isotropic electromagnetic and thermal property. So now coming to typically a stator steel material improvement. 
So coming to compact motor design, the SMC provide a more compact motor design along with the net safe processing of stator, thereby minimizing or almost eliminating the waste and lower eddy current loss. The motor cores are made of of SMC have some advantage compared to the cores made of silicon steel seats such as lower eddy current loss. And you can clearly see how really the SMC have a lower core losses with respect to the typically the of course the you see BH curve is really affected I mean at different flux density but you can say the core loss certainly how it is affected typically with the frequency or otherwise with the same. And then you can have a like a steel, steel material how the geometry looks like the use of SMC material in com complex motor what you like axial flux machines on the right side you can clearly see the axial flux machine how it look like and how typically the animation and how the coils are made to put in this axial field because in many applications we use the axial field machine we require a smaller stack length and having a large diameter which very well fill into the many wheel direct wheel drive or uh, you can call it like a kind of uh, spoke kind of applications like. So now coming to stator shape improvement, the stator core shaping has some of the following advantage like improvement, improved power density. So stator core shape design can increase a motor power density without reaching its weight, torque and or the winding regions and decrease core loss. So stator core shape design can reduce the motor core loss and reduce cogging torque and stator core loss. So adding flux barrier to the stator can reduce the cogging torque as well as stator core loss at base speed. And stator core shapes uh, further have the increased cogging torque frequency. So combining magnet edge shaping with the dummy slot in the stator core can increase the interaction between the magnet and stator core. And this can increase the cogging torque frequency and reduce the peak value of the machine cogging torque. And coming to reduce copper loading, a simple winding scheme can reduce the amount of copper used for the stator and magnetize the electric circuit. And you can clearly see how to improve the shape. I mean, typically using of dummy slots in the stator, reducing the effect of cogging torque. Typically, as you can see in the diagram for different configuration, like I mean, also. And then again, the improvement in the typical geometry and shape. I mean, to really make improvement uh, to change the stator slot shape to accommodate higher coil percentage with the reduced local level of and saturation overall core loss, like. So there are coming to winding design, there are several ways in which the designer can proceed for the improvement in the winding design, typically optimum winding selection and winding slot fill maximization. So coming to optimum winding selection, the winding selection in any of the PM motor is very important to ensure max, maximum performance and when properly chosen, it ensures the motor has the higher fundamental winding factor to maximize the air gap power and reduce the torque repel and other physical phenomena such as vibration. You can see how the optimum winding selection for different poles with the winding factors. Here the integral slot winding as is shown with the red color, then you have fractional slot winding with the orange color and then you have a green color concentrated winding and then unbalanced winding typically with the your black color. So how it is with the different poles, I mean as you go typically with the more slots and poles, I mean these typically you can see the how the performance is affected as far as the wider slot components are present, raising the distributed, distributed to winding slot types and need to appropriately considering the spaces like. So now you can say how the optimum winding selection here as a case you study. So you can see the how the winding is put probably on a stator and the uh, as a cross section of your study palm unit model with the winding pattern of a 8 pole by 12 slot or 8 pole by 9 slot model and how the pattern of radial flow force distribution in a gap in both cases of the motor slide. So this is typical selection of different winding configuration for the same pole produ producing the different in physical phenomena observed in the machine line. So now in coming to the second factor that is winding slot field maximization. So higher slot field has some of the following advantage. So increased torque density, a higher field slot factor increases the sl slot density and reduce and winding losses to achieve high slot fill, non overlapping windings are huge. So the end winding length is reduced and therefore its losses. And second is the reduced torque tooth pulsation loss. A rotating machine with the stator slot has energy 
loss called truth pulsation loss and this loss is caused by the pulsation of magnetic flux density distribution in the air gap part uh, embracing the teeth virtually or slot like now typically coming to the factor for winding technique like needle winding flying winding flare winding and linear winding various type of winding technique exist and each more suitable to different types of winding however there are limitations either to physical constraints or the winding technology that is that a very high slot fill factor not achieved and usually extremely diff efficient technique that typical slot fill factor slot fill factor may be 0.65 to 0.68 for distributed winding while for concentric winding it can reach 0.7 to 0.75 to 0.78 and you can see how the slot winding maximization using winding algorithm typically the algorithm you can see using slot leakage slot packing algorithm to maximize the area of the winding in a slot typically circular coil or hexagonal coil like as you can see in the typically in different cases where the number of wire 86 or number of wires in slot 90 or number of slots 183 or number of slot typically of 180 and here also you can say how it is maximized typically with the different geometry it goes with the O W uh, or W A or N S N W S A or F E A. So here you can just see how the fill factor increases with the typically of as a comparison of practical fill factor for different wire diameter. So different optimized slot packaging algorithm leading to a slot fill factor up to 62 percent like. And then it is a typically winding design with the winding slot fill maximization as you can see strip kind of conductor here. So use of custom made windings with segmented stator can give a very high fill factor with the custom cooling and additively manufactured 3D printing winding typically the printing printed flat shape winding with the copper you can see in the typically a diagram and then the B printed hollow wire with the ASIMG and then you have a printed winding with the asymmetric in C diagram as you can see on the right side. Now coming to optimal design of permanent synchronous model. So several factors were observed in the previous section detailing on what aspect of motor can be improved, have improvement showing the recent development and optimum design of permanent synchronous motor is important to achieve some of the following objective. The high torque density, broad high efficiency range, high starting torque, less uncertainty during the manufacturing and improved speed and torque control and high efficiency. So coming to as a case study design of electric motor for an e-bike application. The focus is design and selection of permanent synchronous motor for e-bike and methodology combines analytical modeling, financial analysis, simulation and experimental data validation and goal is to develop a general procedure for designing e-bike electric motor to promote the eco-friendly mobility. So, coming to first uh, typically analyzing various motor design and their performance. So this involved finding the limitations of permanent synchronous motor in an e-bike while also identifying the design aspect that can improve performance and second is verifying analytical model. This model will be used for to elevate the different motor design. So third is the simulating various geometries. So the study will use the finite element analysis to simulate various visible motor geometry based on the initial experimental data from the commercial motor and then creating a performance, fourth is creating performance map. So instead of using closed formula, the study will create a maps to visualize how target performance values depends on different design variables and this allows for a more comprehensive understanding of the design space. And uh, typically you can say motor configuration for parameters and geometry here it is given here with the number of slot typically and number of poles with the frequency and then external diameter slot and this. And the PM property that is permanent material property that how you can go with the remnant flux density then relative permeability and value of in teeth all those data here. So then the motor analytical model and the surface mount permanent motor design. So analytical model aims at exploring different design solution to find with the motor geometry maximize the performance and the mode models are generated by the combination of external diameter D and the current density JS value. And the main equation is the analytical expression of the air gap flux density for the, the surface mounted motor. And now typically coming to motor analytical model and typically of design. So considering the BM 
into H m into H s k equal to B g pi d upon 2 p into L s t k and H m t m plus H g equal to 0. So, B g will get mu 0 H g and B m equal to B remnant R plus mu 0 into R mu R c into H m and from where we can calculate the air gap frequency B g equal to B remnant divided by pi d upon 2 p into 1 upon H m plus mu equal g upon t m. So, for from the relation between pole flux pi g phi g and the back iron flux phi b i we can get the value of phi g equal to 2 uh, phi b i and b g n equal to typically b g d l s t k divided by pi equal to 2 into b i b i into h b i into l s k and typically then load current from the current density we can get i slot equal to root 2 times j s k fill into s slot and electric loading k s is k s equal to i slot into k w into q upon pi d and the torque T equal to PS BG into pi upon 4 into D square to LSK and stage will loss equal to PJ S equal to DJ square VCUS into P SU into 120 where the JS is current density, slot current density and PC 120 copper resistive at working temperature of 120 degree and VCUS equal to volume of copper material in the state. So now typically the specific iron loss PS equal to PS star into FE in multiply B upon B star F E square in, into in bracket K H into F upon F e star plus K E C F upon e star square and the total loss P loss equal to P J S plus P F E by I plus P F E T and output power is T into omega M that is T T equal to 2 pi F upon P and then you can just see clearly the result here analytically and magnetically finite element analysis for SS using a FM throughout a design range and D varies from 15 to 65 mm and this varies from 6 to 10 mm and how the current density and the diameter really is affecting the this your typically torque map by varying D and L. Similarly, for you have a typically a diameter D upon DC variation torque map varying D upon this through magnetic static calculation. So, now coming to typically motor analytical model and this IPM design the electromagnetic equations that is kept the IPM model are as follows HM into TM plus HG into 2G equal to 0. So, where HM TM plus H infinity into W infinity equal to 0. So, BM HM into L is equal to BG pi D upon 4P into L S K plus B in HN into L S K and where the B in 0 is equal to mu 0 HG and B in equal to mu 0 H infinity and BM equal to B remnant plus mu 0 mu recoil into HM. As you can see from the dimensions like all that. Coming to design exploration, so it is shown that there is a good fit between the analytical model presented using the previous equation for the IPM and the finite element design as you can see from the diagram typically here. So, here typically analytical is the dash line as it is shown the figure I mean and typically the your solid line is finite element result in the uh, typical design plane with the earth plug density. And similarly, you can say analytical dash result type in line in case of di upon d into h plane and torque map loss characteristic between the two and then you can say typically how really it shift to the zone with the change of density so from this study you observe that the test motor can be moved to more better position on the torque contour with the reduced size and better performance like so now coming to de typically design education case history of design electric motor for any by application so coming to design exploration the such design exploration study can help the design with the several things. First, it validates the analytical approach used with the finite element analysis for faster development. And secondly, with the complete parameter map mapped out, the designer gets the, assist, the best zone of performance for the motor to be at. And therefore, this approach gives a wider perspective on the design problem instead of analytically once simulation at a time, typically using a finite element or analytical. So, coming to now typically with the numerical exercise, the question 1, the phase winding has a mean turn length L equal to 192 millimeter and each conductor is wound with the N equal to 2 stands in hand and the number of turns in the series per phase is TPH equal to 24 and the number of parallel path is equal to 2 to calculate the phase resistance at 20 degree Celsius. So, cross sectional area of the one stand is A equal to pi D wire upon square by 4 and that keeping a value it comes 1.5394 into 10 power minus 6 meter square and the resistivity copper at 20 degree Celsius is 1.724 into 10 power minus 6 
ohm meter and resistance is your TPH upon A into rho L upon Na putting a value at come point 0 0.0129 ohms. Now coming to question 2, suppose we have a 12 slot 4 pole motor with the mean air gap diameter D equal to 51 millimeter L elastic 50 millimeter and air gap length equal to G equal to 1 then Carter coefficient K is equal to 1.0086 and suppose the magnet length is LM equal to 5.5 millimeter and equal parameter is mu equal is 1.1 the winding has 4 pole pitch square all in series each with 12 turns to so derive and find air gap self inductance and air gap mutual inductance. So, coming to typically your air gap component of self inductance LG as you can see typically in the winding and the your flux density pattern. So, the best the basis for calculating the air gap self inductance LG of a single coil is shown for a full pitch coil in the figure and the total MF around the complete flux path is equal to the NCIC where the NC is the number of turns in the coil and I is the current and if the steel in the rotor and straight is to be infinite permeable then the MF is concentrated across to effective air gap. So, the MF drop across the each air gap is Fg equal to Nc i by 2 and where Np equal to Nc by 2 as the number of turns per pole then Fg equal to Np into i and if a surface magnet in a surface magnet is in each effective air gap G includes the thickness of magnet Lm as well as the air, air gap itself modified by Carter coefficient Kc and if the flux is assumed to cross the gap in the radial direction the magnetizing force Hg in each gap is Hg equal to Fg upon G dash double dash and F, or equal to NPI into upon G dash G double dash or equal to NCI upon 2 G dash where the active air gap G dash equal given by G dash equal to Kc into Kg plus Lm upon mu equal or where the Kc is equal to 5 plus S plus 5 plus S minus S equal by lambda where S is the ratio of slot opening to G dash and Lord lambda is the slot pitch to G dash and where G dash equal to G plus Lm and the flux density produced in by the HM is the in air gap di diameter is BAG equal to mu 0 H equal to mu 0 NPI in divided by G dash is G dash double dash. So, now coming to the ideal flux distribution around the air gap is plotted in the figure and if P is the number of pole pairs then the flux per pole is pi P equal to BGA into pi D upon 2 P into elastic A and the flux linkage of the entire phase winding is equal to your pi P times and the number of turns in series. So, T P H equal to N P into 2 P upon A where A is the number of parallel path. And coming to now air gap component of inductance LG and MG. So, air gap component of self inductance is LG equal to pi P into T P H upon I and that is equal to pi upon 4 into mu 0 T P H square LST into D divided by P square G double dash and the air gap component of the mutual inductance is Mg equal to minus Lg by 3 equal to minus 1 by 3 into pi upon 4 into mu 0 T P H square L S T K into D upon P square G double dash. For the given problem A equal to 1 T P H equal to 4 into 12 by 1 that is 48. So, effective air gap G double dash equal to 1.0086 into 1 into 1 plus 5.5 divided by 1.1. So, that becomes 6.0086 millimeter. And for a given problem A equal to 1 TPH equal for this, the effective air gap is G day double dash equal to 60086 and from this LG equal to 5P TPH upon I, so it become by, by, by 4 to mu 0 TPH is LST divided by A into P square into G dash and from this LG putting a value it comes 0 0.2413 Henry and from which MG comes LG minus LG by 3 that comes minus 0 0.084. 804 Henry. So, coming to numerical problem 3 for the pre previous problem the considering the effect of winding factor KW on the air gap self inductance given LG equal to mu 0 upon mu pi by 4 into mu 0 TPH square into LST D into KW divided by P square G double dash and where the K equal to 1 minus 3 upon 3 Q. So, if the number of slot work in were increased to 24 then the same number of turns was split into 2 equal to 2 slot per pole per phase the self and mutual inductance will be reduced by how much. So, solution is k equal to 1 minus 3 upon 3 into q that comes to 0 0.833 and LG equal to that typically 0 0.833 into multiplied 0 
वन थ्री दैट कम जीरो पॉइंट टू जीरो वन वन एंड द एम जी की जो है माइनस एल जी बाई थ्री दैट कम माइनस जीरो पॉइंट जीरो एट जीरो फोर मिली हेनरी तो नाउ कमिंग टू द एक्सरसाइज प्रॉब्लम क्वेश्चन वन वट इज द प्राइमरी एडवांटेज ऑफ पॉमिनेट ब्रशलेस मोटर्स विद साइनसल एक्साइटेशन ओवर दैट प्रजल हायर एफिशंसी दैन द सेकेंड क्वेश्चन इन पॉमिनेट ब्रशलेस मोटर द बैक एम एफ एम एफ वे फॉर्म अंडर साइनसल एक्साइटेशन करेक्टराइज बाई साइनसल एंड वे क्वेश्चन थ्री वट इज वाट रोल डज द हाल इफेक्ट सेंसर प्ले इन पॉमिनेट ब्रशलेस मोटर कंट्रोल टिपिकली मेजर द रोटर पोजिशन एंड इनक्रीज इन ए साइनसल डी एक्साइटेड पॉमिनेट The brushless motor body, the significance of power factor angle, they influence the motor efficiency, and what is the significance of air gap in the pump unit uh, brushless motors? Typically, all as uh, to determine the speed, influence the torque production, affect the efficiency, and reduces the cogging torque. Now, question six: What advantage does the sensor excitation scheme offer in acoustic noise in pump unit in terms of effect noise in pump unit? Not what it reduces the audible noise. and a reduction in audible noise is observed in pmsm due to the reduced torque pupil and vibration now question 7 compared to brushless dc motor pump pmsm with sinusoidal action offers reduced cogging torque and reduced cogging torque com is compared to finite number of the commuted segment causing the output torque to ripple right now question 8 sinusoidal action in pmsm is achieved by controlling the current in stator winding and stator winding generate The central rotating field and the rotor magnets generate a static DC field. Now, question nine: Considering the that a BLDCM motor and the pump PMSM have the same design or physical structure, which one have the performance matrix will be different. Typically, the torque pull and coupling losses, the cogging torque remains the remains similar. The winding steel structure and the PM magnetization remain the same. Now, question ten: Which control technique is commonly used to achieve the central Except in PMSM, the typically the field oriented control and PMSM do not have brushes even to achieve the pump perfect sensor excitation. Field oriented control is more preferred method and open loop sensor technique exists. However, they do not have the same performance efficiency as field oriented control. And these are the references which we have followed to develop this material. You can refer if you need. And thank you very much.